Good day, YouTube. This is Jay Money with Falling Forward Financial. Just an update here on uh, Sundial Growers. I've uh, covered this one uh, numerous times here on the channel. Uh, one of my, uh, shouldn't say favorite, <laughs> MJ played to hate. Um, but uh, I just don't know what to do with this one anymore. It uh, is just underperforming. I'm afraid it's going to get uh, delisted. It hasn't been above a dollar in a while um, there was 94 a month or a month ago and there was back in March um, so you can kind of see what this one's done just been kind of on the uh, downtrend ever since uh, March 15th here at a dollar 62 and it's just been going down right there is where it's a dollar so April 7th and it hasn't touched a dollar since almost and we're coming up on June so it's gonna be two months here if this thing doesn't hit a dollar and uh, that's not good uh, so this is sundial sundial growers uh, this is a favorite one of a lot of people I've as you can see, you got quite a few shares here. Well, that's enough. I'm sure there's people with more. Uh, I think I have about 100 in my uh, retirement, and that's underperforming as well. So um, I bought into this one, and then it dipped. And as you can see, I'm below and uh, down $66 on this one. So if you don't know what this one is, it's a uh, MJ Play. Go ahead and uh, pause the uh, video and uh, read that. Been around since 2006. Uh, huge volume on this one, 207 million average. I've seen it up to a billion at times, uh, a couple hundred million, so it's huge volume. 1.2 billion uh, dollar market cap and um, not the greatest ratings to uh, sell. Um, if I was above my cost basis or close to it I might be selling it uh, but again I don't give tax legal or trading advice you'd have to figure that out on your own uh, but you can see here I've been on 420 with everything dipped and it's still below that it's still down 13 cents so this is the last time I bought into it at 85 cents 84 and 90 cents and it just keeps going down 50 shares at 220 that was a big mistake back here 67 cents uh, here's where he did a uh, option and that didn't turn out the way I wanted it to so this has just been a total loser for me sorry to say I know there's a lot of uh, people that follow this one it's um, had a lot of reddit people behind it uh, but it just hasn't done what I've wanted it to do but um, uh, as you can see I got into it um, uh, last fall and uh, it was supposed to hit a dollar I missed the option I think about a two three weeks later it finally hit a dollar and so I lost that money and totally behind on this one but this is currently showing it as a hold and as you can see I'm gonna continue holding it so we'll see hopefully it doesn't go much lower but I'm just afraid this one's gonna get delisted and then who knows what's gonna happen with it um, Maybe they'll do a split, uh, who knows, to uh, get the price up. I don't really know at this point in time, but um, uh, back to uh, Sundial here on uh, Bar Chart. Um, as you can see, the previous close at 0 .7550. Uh, like I said, the average volume is it's up there, so a lot of people trade this one. Uh, here's the three-month chart, and as you can see what it's uh, been kind of doing. And... So I mean they've been raising money, they've been acquiring some other businesses, um, I just don't understand why this one can't get back up to a dollar and stay above there. It was doing a pretty good job for a while and it's not had the greatest ratings which haven't helped it either. So at a 6, 3 at a hold, 3 at a strong sell, so not too good. Uh, sundial Growers continues downward spiral sell or avoid Sundial stock and this is a couple days ago the 18th uh, so it'll be a week ago tomorrow 
Um, bearish regarding stock until it shows investors something positive. Recent earnings only make the situation bleaker and bleaker. And while the acquisition news seems appropriate and strategically logical, the results have yet to be seen. Loan positive is false hope. And I think I can speak for many people on this one. False hope on this one. Uh, case in point, the second line in Sundial's first quarter earnings report states that the firm hit its first positive quarterly earnings from operations in the company's history. And so I think at that point in time it was up, but uh, it's just continued to uh, go down since then. In fact, uh, net losses are continuing to get bigger and bigger. Sundial Growers recorded a net loss of $134.445 million in the first three months of 2021. That's more than double the 64.144 in the last it lost in the uh, previous quarter. So it's not good at all. So it's getting close to the $200 million mark. Uh, feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Uh, we are pleased to announce Sundial's first ever quarter with positive earnings from operations and adjusted EBITDA. And feel free to pause and uh, go over the rest there for yourself. Um, CEO is to correct to assert that the MJ industry is immature, but investors are also fed up. Uh, it was going good, and then uh, they all started slipping, and this one's really been slipping. Uh, but I've continued to hold, so we'll see how they end up. Uh, can the acquisition stop the bleeding? And that's a million-dollar question. So Spirit Leaf does not have a quick uh, growing retail network of single-brand retail shops. It has grown from 86 stores in two years and operates in British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Ontario, Newfoundland, and Labrador. Uh, here is the uh, verdict. So, kind of feel free to pause and go over that. Uh, and MDOT looked at Sundial Growers. And this is just dated here today, so some of this we've already covered. Beta value of zero, it has seen 195 million shares traded in the last trading session, currently valued at 1.25 billion, the last trade of 75 cents, which meant it lost uh, 2 cents on the day, or 2.39% during the session. Uh, so if you played this in reverse and did an option, then uh, I think you can do options still on this one, and... Uh, uh, bet on it going down you did done alright so maybe that's the route I should have took but didn't this kind of goes over the 52 week high and the low uh, about 13 cents almost 14 3 month trading uh, volume is 233.6 million shares despite the red last session the stock has traded in the green over the last 5 days with the highest price Hit on Tuesday, May 18th, when Sundial stock price touched uh, 79 cents and saw a rise of 4.94%. Uh, Year-to-day Sundial growers shares have moved 59.45%. Uh, Here's the uh, estimates and forecasts. And feel free to pause and uh, go over that information there for yourself. Uh, moving on, uh, what are you thinking about uh, investing? And this is just uh, dated here today into uh, Sundial Growers. Uh, traded at 73 cents. Last check on Monday, May 24th. Uh, made a downturn move of minus 2.98% on the previous day's price. Um, looking at the stock, you'll see the previous close of 75 cents. So some of this we already covered. So I might just slowly scroll through for those of you that would like to... Uh, pause and uh, go over this information looks like a lot of it we've already uh, touched on short-term indicators assign the stock as an average of 50 percent sell while medium-term indicators assign an average of hold we 
We note the average three month trading volume was 230.96 million, while that of the preceding 10 day period stands at 176.78 million. Current shares outstanding are 1.66 billion. And feel free to pause and go over the rest there for yourself. Um, Sundial Grower stock forms tight trading range for now, and this is just uh, also dated here on uh, today. So all kinds of information coming out. Uh, the bulls are willing to pay 70 cents a share at this level. There is more demand than supply over the past month. Uh, this has been the uh, bottom of the trading range. Each time the shares fell to 70 cents, the stock rallied. The bears are willing to sell at 80 cents a share. Uh, there's more supply than demand at this level and the past month each time the shares reached 80 cents a sell-off followed uh, so this is all pretty good information here sundial has formed a trading range between 70 and 80 cents over the next week or two uh, chances are there's a good chance these levels continue to hold and the stock stays within this range uh, so you can kind of see the uh, 80 cent and 70 cent and it's been in there uh, we'll just call it about the first of May through about the end of May so in the 70 to uh, 80 cent range over here to uh, stuck twits low of 14 high of 396 and I kick myself every time I say that I wish I would have sold even at two dollars I would have been doing pretty good and could have sat back and bought back in at the uh, 70 cent range. Honest answers to discuss these scenarios. Fish, <laughs> but where are you? <laughs> uh, yep, that's what I say about that. <laughs> uh, the hedges are paying for more of these bear cowbells, uh, just block them out. So you gotta love cowbell. Uh, doesn't matter what you think or feel, no, where we'll go down again tomorrow, I'm sorry. So, yeah, probably. Waiting for Torch Play to take off so I can jump back in here and ride the next wave up. Yeah, <laughs> that's how I feel about this one uh, sometimes as well. So, currently at 71 cents, uh, and that's projected to hit 85 um, but we will see what it's gonna do here. So there's the 94. So 79. So it does hit that and then just totally sells off, doesn't it? It's down to 72. So maybe buy it at the 70 to 72 range and follow it up. And maybe I can lower my cost bases and sell out of it. We'll see. But it hasn't touch the 78 72 here and 71 here so it looks like it might be tomorrow is probably going to be down so tomorrow might be a uh, buying opportunity I don't give tax legal or trading advice just throwing that out there I might purchase some and uh, I'd have to figure out how much I would have to uh, purchase to uh, get out of this that'd be quite a bit so buy in at the 70 to 72 range and sell out at the 78 <laughs> that might be my new strategy so if you have any other strategy leave that in the uh, comments that'd be interesting to know and any other information you have on uh, sundial um, anything that you would uh, like to share on uh, sundial or if there's any other uh, stocks you'd uh, like me to uh, cover I'd be happy to look at those as well uh, just did a uh, newer MJ play today it was a request um, it's called um, Isracan it's a uh, MJ play out of Israel ISCNF so if you're interested in a uh, 19 uh, cent MC MJ play that trades over the counter you can uh, get that one uh, watch that video and there's another uh, new one with CBD lotions uh, Jushi it's J-U-S-H-F just did that one on uh, Friday uh, so feel free to watch those or all of them and um, if you haven't hit that like button yet go ahead and hit that for me as well as subscribing hit the bell uh, we hit 900 over the uh, weekend so I thank you for all the support and uh, on my way to a thousand so I uh, 
Thank you again for all the support on the channel. Happy trading, happy investing. Stay green. Cheers.